Daily Break Wednesday February 3rd 2021 Wednesday of fourth week in ordinary time Daily Break Wednesday February 3rd 2021 Wednesday of fourth week in ordinary time The Holy Gospel according to St Mark Leaving that place, Jesus returned to his own country, and his disciples followed him. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and most of those who heard him were astonished. But they said, How did this come to him? What kind of wisdom has been given to him? that he also performs such miracles. Who is he but the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? His sisters, too, are they not here much? So they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, Prophets are despised only in their own country, among their relatives, and in their own family. And he could work no miracles there, but only healed a few sick people by laying his hands on them. Jesus himself was astounded at their unbelief. Jesus then went around the villages teaching. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to be strengthened in your journey of faith. It is the role of parents and educators to help from the children entrusted to them. They are not to be just friends, but rather disciplinarians. That does not mean they seek to punish every single wrongdoing, but rather they seek to edify and build up their churches by the use of certain disciplines. Discipline, as the root of the word implies, should be a learning experience. It is not just punishment or wrongdoing, but a means of learning to become a better person. God disciplines us also. God is not, as I taught as a child, seeking to catch us doing wrong, but rather God desires that we do what is right, even in the most challenging experiences in our life. The more we practice spiritual disciplines, the more we will be able to do the right thing at the right time. Life on earth is not easy. We have to face challenging times. But with faith, we can not only make it through the difficult experiences, but also we can grow into the fullness of being the children of God. In our first reading, the author of the letter to the Hebrews compares the persecution and trials of this life to a form of discipline which a loving parent imposes upon a child. The responsory psalm speaks of other aspects of parent-child relationship compassion, and respect. In the Gospel, we have the Machan account of Jesus returning to Nazareth and not being able to work wonders because of the lack of faith in the people who think they know him since they have seen him merely as a hometown boy with whom they have lived for years. Our first reading speaks of the hardship of discipline, yet 
also the positive effect of going through discipline. Yes, discipline is painful at the time of receiving it, but it truly is, as the root of the word implies, a means of educating and making one wiser and stronger. Discipline is a learning device that makes better disciples, disciples of our master teacher. Discipline should not be taken as a form of unloving punishment, but as a means to better a person so that they might learn from the hardships of life. The responsible builds upon another aspect of the relationship that exists between a loving parent and child. Not only does a good parent discipline a child, but also a parent who reach out and show compassion to the child. Compassion is particularly experienced when the offspring has the healthy respect for the authority and wisdom of the parent. There is a bond of faith between the parent and child, which is based on love, unconditional love. The gospel speaks of the relationship of Jesus with his king's folk and neighbors in his hometown of Nazareth. In Mark's gospel, there seems to be a period of time when Jesus is ministering outside of Nazareth before his return to his hometown. The people have probably heard all the great things Jesus has done in other parts of Galileo. They expect their hometown hero to perform even greater things for them. Yet, because their narrow-sighted vision of who Jesus is, they do not have faith in him. This lack of faith about Jesus' relationship with his Abba Father prevents Jesus from doing more than a few simple healings. The people take offense at him, even before he proclaims that a prophet is not respected in his native place. I return to the themes of faith and discipline. Both are important in the life of a disciple of the Lord Jesus. A disciple of Jesus must be a disciplined follower and learner who has complete faith in the master teacher. Discipline is the means of learning from the experiences one endures, especially the ones of pain and misunderstanding from the others who reject our faith relationship with our master teacher. It takes faith to believe that we are truly followers of the Lord Jesus when others put us down for our ways of acting out our faith. Yet, if we are open, every experience go, we go through with faith we make us stronger and wiser disciples of the Lord Jesus and also better minister servants to others who need our help. Because we endure our challenging moments with faith, we are able to reach out to others when they go through similar challenges. Thus, we are disciplined not only for our own betterment, but also so that we can help edify and support those who we meet on our journey of faith. Let us again pray the responsorial and realize that God truly has compassion on those who are willing to put their faith in the Lord Jesus and who experience God's loving compassion even through those strange times for it is then that we become disciplined learners and disciples of our master teacher, the Lord Jesus. Responsorial 
the portion of question, no action for today. As I look back with faith on some of the most challenging experiences in my life, do I see those experiences as learning and teachable moments for me? Have I been able to use those experiences in helping others when they go through seemingly difficult times? Do I continue to have faith in the master teacher and seek to learn from him and expect to see the great wonders which he lovingly performs for the good of those who trust in him? How can I be more sensitive today to others who may need my help and my sharing of the faith which I have had strengthened to the disciplines I have experienced in my life? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, living and compassionate parent. Through your goodness, you allow us to grow and be strengthened in our relationship with you and your son through the disciplining moments in our lives. The more we turn to you in faith and trust, the more we can use those challenging experiences for our edification and the edification of others. We seek your forgiveness for the times we have not handled the hard times in our lives, but faithless gave up. We ask that you continue to pour out our, your Holy Spirit into our lives so that we can be aware of how you discipline us for our own good and the good of others. We lift up this prayer of praise and thanks to you in you and with Jesus, your son and your master teacher who experienced faith challenging times himself during his earthly journey and who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God forever and ever. Amen. buồn lo đường đời bao thất vọng này tươi người bên mình chê bói sự nghiệp nay thất bại xin cho con vững lòng cây chúa cho một đời tin thao trong tay chúa xin cho con vững lòng cây chúa cho một đời tin